everybody, this is Erica Sabo. Welcome back. Happy holidays, everybody. I am so happy to be back, and I hope you're having a really awesome uh, just holiday season, whatever you're doing, whatever you're celebrating, whoever you're with. I hope you're having a good time. So today I'm going to be doing an unboxing for this really awesome package I got from Fangamer. I've talked about Fangamer a lot. I love them to pieces. They send me cool stuff and I buy cool stuff from them and I like supporting all these independent artists that they promote. So today I am going to be doing an unboxing of the historical compendium Legend of the Hero. Now I don't have, I don't have the Historia, so this is what I get. <laughs> so I don't have the, the uh, Legend of Z Zelda Historia as of yet, but this is a nice little uh, creature, culture, and mythos of the land book that I am just so happy to have in my collection and I want to show it to you. I want you to see at least bits and pieces. I can't show you every page because that's a lot of pages right there, but I'm going to show you a little bit, give you a little bit of a preview in addition. I got some other cool stuff. Fangamer always includes a lot of cute little knickknacks like this little thing. Whoa! Like really, that's all I can say. Um, and then also these cool cards that I bought separately. Really amazing and really nice companion to the book. So yeah, I just really wanted to share this with you in case you were maybe interested in getting it or forgetting, you know, if you plan on getting it for someone who you care about because any Legend of Zelda fan should have this in their collection. Alright, so this is the beautiful book I had mentioned. I wanted to do some nice glamour shots because I can. They're not the best glamour shots. I need better equipment for this. But it's okay. That's fine. We're fine and dandy. I like it anyways. <laughs> so I'm going to show you some of the other little things you can get here. Uh, Fangamer always sends super cool stuff, all kinds of cool stuff. So first we have this really cool sticker signed by Carrie Fry who did the art for all of this which was pretty awesome. And then we have a Grey Fox uh, little Metal Gear card here. And then it says, what about you, Erica? What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? I love it. I love those personalized cards. And then I also got a $5 gift certificate that I'm not going to show you because I don't have to. And then, <laughs> and then I am struggling right now. I'm so sorry. Struggling. Okay. And then I got another little potion sticker. I have one of these already, but you can never have enough red potion. Of course you can never have enough red potion. Uh, and then we have a little Half-Life button here, which I'm very happy to have because I do like Half-Life a lot, aside from the ladders. <laughs> and then we have our little, uh, our little guide to show you all the other cool stuff that you can get on Fangamer. And you can get a lot of cool stuff, whether we're talking t-shirt designs, jewelry, posters, all of it. You can get mugs. You can get all kinds of stuff. <laughs> it's such a cool site and I love supporting it, so this is my way of showing my love because that love will never die. All right, so we have our beautiful Carrie Fry um, cards. These are gigantic cards. I thought they were gonna be tiny. I was really worried that sticker was gonna like die after I pulled it off, but it, it's not, it's fine. So we have one for the original Legend of Zelda on the NES, which I love. Oh God, I just wanna put these on my wall. And then we have a Link to the Past here. Love Link to the Past, man. Those bosses are incredible. And then we have Link's Awakening, another really amazing game in the series I really enjoyed. And then we have Ocarina of Time. So great. So many memories, too many memories. <laughs> Same goes for Majora's Mask, which is freaky as hell. This game gave me nightmares as a kid, but I grew to really appreciate it as I got older. <laughs> I got some Wind Waker, which I really enjoyed too, although I spent the least amount of time on this one compared to the others. We had Twilight Princess, another one I really enjoyed. Really liked its dark themes. And then we've got Skyward Sword here, which I also need to spend more time with, but I don't really like, you know, waggling the Wiimote, right? But yeah, that's all of them. They're beautiful, gold and black goodness. So now we have the book. The book! Okay, so it's really gorgeous. It has this really nice dust cover that I'm gonna take off. I'm gonna kinda struggle taking it off for you, but it's just beautiful. I actually really want to put this dust cover on my wall because it has all the beautiful items from the game. I love how it has the fox mask. I love how it has all of this. It's just uh, so many memories with these items. So incredible. 
Okay, next we have the book itself. It's not real leather, but it looks gorgeous. I love that Triforce. If I'm ever gonna get a Triforce tattoo, I want it to look like that. <laughs> and I may, considering the amount of knowledge and love I have for the series, so who knows. But yeah, it's beautiful. It's, I love the Hyrulean text too. So I'm gonna, um, yeah, yeah, okay, good. I can open the book. <laughs> All right, and then we got the giant forward. I wish I could read it to you. First edition of the book just came out, it was just released on Fangamer. Super stoked. We got our table of contents. And then, you know, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you a little example of, of, of what's in here. So, of course, we got our little box. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, I mean, we have enemies here, we have items here, we have lore here, we have everything. It's just so many good memories. So many good memories. And I love the art. Carrie is an incredible artist and she puts so much time and attention to this. The one thing I will say about this guide is the fact that it has all these Latin names and it doesn't have the actual name of the enemies and things. So if you're not familiar with certain items or enemies, you may be a little bit confused as to which games those were introduced in. Uh, Skulltula's here! Yes! Yes! But, um, I was... I don't know. Like, the, it's just one of those things where it doesn't have, like, the actual name. So you might get a little bit lost depending on how big of a, a Legend of Zelda fan you are, right? Anybody can pick this up, really. But, you know, it, it might take a little bit of research with certain things if you really want to appreciate every aspect of it. But aside from that, I mean, it, it's gorgeous. And I, I, I love it very much. If you are, um, you know, a connoisseur of the Legend of Zelda series, then I think you'll really appreciate it because then you'll see every single aspect of it. It's a great coffee table book. It's a great way of talking to people about the Legend of Zelda series. Although maybe it'll sound a little preachy. I don't know. Maybe I will. <laughs> but it's it's beautiful. I just, I, it's a really great quality book too. It's, it feels awesome. It has a nice weight to it. The pages feel great. Uh, the color, it's lush. It's, it's really nice. It's very good quality product that, uh, that I, I definitely recommend getting if you're interested in something like this. So, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm like totally struggling with these pages. And we have some Gerudos too. Uh, I love the music in Gerudo Valley so much. And like sneaking around in the prison. Oh, that was so good. And then I love this emblem. I had to show this. I know it's on the front, but I like how it's in black and white like that. And then we have the back. So, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed my unboxing of this pretty little book here. It was, ugh. So beautiful. It's, you know, about as beautiful as my Mother 3 guy that I got from Fangamer as well, which maybe I'll do when I'm, I've already unboxed it. I've, I've already, like, I've, I've already opened it, but maybe I'll show it to you anyways. It's really cool. But anyways, this made me really want to do more Legend of Zelda videos, like top lists for things. So. I'm not gonna, you know, say anything, but I will tell you right now that I do have a lot of things in mind and I've already come up with particular lists for some Legend of Zelda stuff because I have a lot of knowledge when it comes to the Legend of Zelda in general, like a lot of knowledge. Talking to a few people the other day, I was like, wow, I have too much knowledge and I need to release that knowledge somehow. So I'm gonna be doing that. This inspired that. Thank you so much, Fangamer. This was wicked. I love all of it. I love it. It's so good. I don't even care that the corner of this book has been hitting my face this whole time. It hurts. I've had so many cuts where I'm like, hey guys, look at this. Ow. <laughs> but that's okay. Because you know what? It's totally worth it. It's worth it. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to leave a link below to actually both items. Although I think that you can... It's linked to this on the same page as this. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be linking to that. I really hope you enjoyed. I hope you have happy holidays. And I will see you all later, okay? Alright, peace.